Get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase from today's sponsor at squarespace.com forward slash forge. Welcome back. As you know, in this iteration of this workshop, we have two power hammers. What we do not have is what we used to have, which was a hydraulic press. It was one of the nicest hydraulic presses that I ever used. I bought it when I was in the Barker Street Forge workshop, and especially considering that I don't have a hydraulic press in the workshop at the moment, I have been longing to have one again. Lo and behold, I'm on Instagram the other day and I get a message from Andrew Larson, who's a blacksmith, and this message is showing me a for sale advert of a Norton hydraulic press. But not just any Norton hydraulic press, my old hydraulic press. And it's only 30 minutes down the road, and so we're gonna go have a look and find out if I can buy back my old hydraulic press. Would you look at that, to be reunited. Have you had it running yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used it. Still running all right? But Feels a little bit smaller than I remember it being. It's actually quite a reasonable size, not too obnoxious. This hydraulic press and this power hammer came out of the same place. Nigel bought it from the same place. What's funny to me is, look at this. Power hammer's got one of our stickers on it. But I don't think this is my old power hammer. <laughs> look at that. I'm literally three feet short on the cable. go. <laughs> it's been a while. Look at this. They welded on a little die plate system with holes. That's nicer than how I had it set up. All right, look at that. We've got a speed here, if I remember right. Yeah, there's two. Oh, I do like this press. Yeah. Look at that thing fly. It's so controllable. See how it looks in here. This is like a depth stop, and it's got this locking nut system, so you can bring this down exactly where you want, then lock it up, so it can go all the way down and stop exactly where you want it. Oh, I love this thing. Look how fast it is. It still feels like it runs smooth as the day I had it. While we wait for the press to arrive for its third time, let me tell you a little bit about the history of me and this press. It was right near the beginning of my career, right near the beginning of my business, and I bought the press so that I could punch hammer eyes, so that I could sell hammers, and I was selling those hammers on my Squarespace website, who is sponsoring this video and has been sponsoring us for a long time, and I've been a user of their service since day one of doing this stuff. Being young, broke and trying to start a business up from scratch, it was out of the question for me to be able to hire a web developer to build a beautiful website for me. And so finding Squarespace was utterly essential because I wanted a really nice looking website that I could adjust on my own. And with the countless themes that Squarespace offers, I could make it look sleek, modern and aesthetically pleasing while it scaled perfectly from mobile to PC. I was able to sell unlimited physical products, all the hammers and tools I wanted, but I was also able to sell spaces for classes. You can sell digital products, access to members only areas. Whether you're a small business owner or a freelancer, or you just want a place to share your hobby with the world, I highly recommend building your website with Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com forward slash forge. You'll get a free trial so you can see just how effortless it is. And then when you use code forge at checkout, you'll get 10% off your purchase. That includes your domain purchase too. So check them out down below. Oh, Jamie, do you hear that? I think the press is arriving. <laughs> It doesn't matter how many times you get a machinery delivery, because I've been very fortunate to have machines arrive on a number of occasions in a number of different places in the world. It is still very exciting. There is like half an inch between the top of that crane and the top of the door. It is just so close. Whoa. Down she goes. Now there was a point in time where I felt really confident when I was moving equipment on power trucks. Now, I feel less confident. We don't need to bring up why. We all know. We all know why. It's got a little bit of a tip to it, Jamie. How's that for balanced? Not very balanced. That looks super sketchy. I've got a great idea. Really, really good idea. I'm gonna go get a forklift. Good. Oh yeah. Right, positioning, I like it. Now historically, we've not really made use of the fact that the forge has wheels, but I think we can now. So if we have the forge right about here, we got forge, press, anvil, power hammer one, power hammer two. It's not really taking too much more space. One of my concerns 
is what it was going to be like around the back for material handling. But fortunately, it's actually just a little bit shorter than the Bernsdorfer. And so it doesn't really pose us any extra problems. Bloody hell, we're that close. Ah! Five pin, four pin. Bang! I'll get you. Why on earth would that come? What do you think? I'm some sort of pussy yeah, like, bitch. Wow. Right, let's turn it on. Woo! Oh, yeah! That is just what I'm talking about. All right, so now we're gonna clean it up, dot some T's, cross some I's. We've got a little bit of surface rust and dust and dirt. Just need to clean that up. And we have the human meat grinder right here. Perfect way to lose both hands and your face. Um, we need to put a little bit of a cage on this. This actually looks worse than it did <laughs> when you started. It just it looks like... This is why I shouldn't be allowed to touch anything. It just it goes just worse. Like, it's like you've smeared turd all over it. <laughs> You know what? I should tell you a little bit about when I first bought this press. I must have been 17 or 18 years old. Browsing eBay, I see this thing come up. It was a bidding auction and the price starts, I think, at about 750 pounds and it goes up to 1,200 pounds. And conveniently, that was very close to all the money I had. I bought the thing, cost me 250 quid to get it delivered. And I had this machine for the first time for 1,450 pounds. Now this time around, cost me a little north of 3,000 pounds. So there we go, there's inflation for you. Oh great, I reckon it's time to do a test. Squish some metal on this bad boy. That sword just cuts like butter. Oh, it's been a while. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it vibrates. Look at that. No way. I don't think I ever got this setting to work when I last owned it. Check this out, come here. The dial, vibratory auto cycling single stroke. That's so strange, that's still on vibratory. That's still vibrating. What? Maybe it's a pressure thing. That's so confusing. What do I do? There we go. What? It's going up on its own. This type of press isn't designed to be a forging press. This is the type of press that you'd use to like make die clippings. Remember when we visited DMM? I brought up this press and they're obviously not going Meh, squishing bits of metal. They're going Meh, punk, and it pops the thing out. Maybe if we keep turning the dial, we'll get it where we want it for forging. What? It's broken. And then it like locks out. For goodness sake. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, that did nothing. Quarter turn left. Another quarter turn left. What is that? Now we've gone into auto cycling. Another turn to the right. Yes! No! No! I thought it was it. It's not it. Okay, it's doing the weird vibrating thing, but maybe I prefer that, you know? Right, well, you know what? I've just taken this press on a big old journey. So in summary, we're gonna keep it in the vibratory mode because with the way that we've been messing with the settings, it seems like the best option we have available and it still does a nice job. What I do think is crap on the machine is the treadle, which I put on when I first bought the machine. It needs to be better. It's flimsy and it needs to look more like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Too bloody long, gonna have to cut it and weld it. All right, 
Next up, need a spring. And we've got some that we can steal off of this. Think this is part of an old safety mechanism, which of course, we don't need. <laughs> oh, my, uh! <laughs> oh. Oh, I like that. That is bloody fabulous. Say hello to my little friend. Good to have you back. I don't know about you, Jamie, but I'm looking forward to squishing some things with this press in future videos. I look forward to seeing you then. And thank you as ever to Squarespace for sponsoring the video because I wouldn't have been able to buy the press the first time around without them long before they sponsored the channel. And I wouldn't be able to buy the press this time around without them either. So check them out. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.